You are listening to audio from the Decidedly Podcast. This episode is a highlight clip from this week's full episode. To listen in on the complete conversation, see the show notes for the link to the complete show. You can help us out by leaving us a five-star review wherever you listen to podcasts. We appreciate every bit of your support. I'm Morgan McKittrick, your producer, and this is Decidedly. You're not always going to get it right. Um, And I believe that in between your intention, your really, really great intention, and the impact that is felt by that individual you're in conversation with, by that team that you lead, by that organization that you have responsibility for, what lies in between that, what gets you from intent to impact is the choice, is the choice. Sometimes our choices are very well informed and we're able to clearly align the choice and the intent to get the desired impact. But sometimes it's just not the right choice. And it's it's not because of you being a bad person. It's not, uh, again, because of malicious intent. Because you started out with a really good intention. You just didn't make the best choice to align that intention to, to receive the d- desired impact. So I say that it's a journey and it's infinite because you have to keep making the choices and learning from the falls learning from the mistakes. And the more informed those choices, you know, become, I think the greater you'll be at aligning the choices you make with that really good intention to achieve the desired impact. Uh, But it takes leaning into the journey. It takes leaning into the uncomfortable conversations, inviting those difficult conversations such that your future choices can be more well-informed. I like that you place such an emphasis on choosing as a step of the process because I think to most people who who don't think about the decisions that they make as deliberately as we try to here, that seems like a step that doesn't need to be spoken. Well, of course I'm going to pick, right? Of course I've got to decide. <laughs> but when Sean and I were creating Decidedly, we started to think, well, what what are the steps in making a decision? What does it even mean to make a decision? And what we dis- what we realized with this was that there are three possible outcomes, right? You could, in any given moment, you could decide to act. You could decide not to act. The only unacceptable option is not deciding. <laughs> and and when you don't decide, then the the window of opportunity slowly closes on you and you are forced into action. Yes. It isn't what you chose, right? So if you're saying, hey, we're going to, um, we think we see AI as, as this, this new revolution happening in technology. Uh, should we incorporate, you know, this new, should we incorporate chat GPT into our, into our workflow? Well, you can either do it or you cannot do it. You can either decide to do it, or you can decide to not do it. But what you can't do is continue to postpone the decision and wait for this never this this moment that will never come where you have enough information or enough data sets or, or, or enough opinions or enough time to deliberate. When If you do that, it'll pass you by and you'll either be forced to catch up and you'll be behind the curve of every other competitor. Situation. Yeah, you will be you'll be out of business because turns out it actually was the best thing you could have ever done and you you missed it. So so making choosing a, a step of your process, I think is I mean, resonates with us for sure. Because that's that's such an such a key component that gets overlooked a lot. I love it so much. <laughs> I'm so glad that we've collided <laughs> because Oh, I celebrate that. Uh, this thing of deciding, not deciding, and and then that that other thing of of doing neither and just going with wherever the waves and the ocean might take you. It is then in control as opposed to you. Because the element that's at play when you can step into decision versus non-decision, there's a consciousness that's required, right? It's a consciousness of being in that moment and weighing the opportunity. Right. I'm, I want to become conscious. I want to become informed on should I move forward the decision or not do anything. There's a consciousness that's at play. That consciousness is there. Have an eyes wide open, mind, heart, spirit, open, enrolled, 
uh, and ready to uh, to step into those choices, even when they're difficult, they're uncomfortable, and you have already fallen down seventeen times. Uh, but you see, yeah. you, you know, you keep making those choices. Yeah, yeah, I, I like what you said, Sanger, because I I think the the decision not to decide is a it's a low resolution thinking, right? Because you you don't have to defend not deciding. Yeah. Right. You don't. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to defend it on anything. He's go. Oh, we're not going to do anything. <laughs> so we're not going to decide. Yeah. Well, so that means you're you're deciding not to act. No, no, no. Way. We're just going to wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll do it later. Thanks for making the great decision to listen in to this week's episode highlight. If you want more of what you just heard, see the show notes for the full episode. As always, for the latest decision-making tips, find us on decidedlypodcast.com or on Instagram at decidedlypodcast. And be sure to sign up for our weekly newsletter from the link in the show notes. Don't forget to leave us a five-star review as well. We read all of your comments, so if you learned some decision-making tips today, let us know. Until next time, this is Decidedly. Insights, advice, and comments provided by Sean Smith, Sanger Smith, and speakers identified as part of the Decidedly podcast should not be considered recommendations. Speakers not identified as members of Decidedly are expressing their opinion, and their statements should not be construed as reflecting the views of the Decidedly team. This podcast is produced solely for informational purposes, not personalized advice.